Hello. This video, I will show you how to use all the action skills for your character in Diablo 3 uh, by using only the mouse. So, in order to do that, we need to create uh, macros. Uh, I'll be using Logitech software because I have Logitech gear, but you can use this with anything else uh, as long as it has macros capability so I'm gonna go to either one of these it doesn't matter you click on the mouse for example and by default Logitech detects your games so I only have Diablo 3 here for this demonstration so I'm gonna go to profile and I'm gonna choose Diablo 3 so this means that this will be active only when I'm using the Diablo 3 profile so that you know my mouse doesn't act weird whenever I'm doing something else okay so we're gonna go to macros and we need two things we need to do an autocast macro and a force move macro so let's let's go ahead and see how to do those uh, go to create new macro and I'm going to call this one uh, force move d3 hit enter you have multiple options no repeat so you click once and it, the action happens once every time you click this one is repeat while holding down so you hold the key down and it keeps doing the action toggle it's like a light switch on and off uh, which is what we want. So you click on it once, keeps going forever in a loop, and then you click it again, it stops. And then you have the sequence option. We we want toggle one. So we're gonna click on toggle, and this one is force move. Uh, the default in Diablo 3 is space, so we're just gonna keep that as the default. So I'm gonna click on start, record keystroke, and click the space bar and then stop recording now you see here use standard delays so 50 milliseconds is the standard delay that means you click it you click the action or you toggle the action on and it will click space bar or simulate you clicking the space bar every 50 milliseconds uh, I find that to be a little bit slow so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the delay so I uncheck this and say you you click it up and down 25 seconds and then I'm gonna add a delay to the action 25 milliseconds okay so this will be click 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 every 25 milliseconds which is which is quite fast click save so now we have our first macro Let's go ahead and do the second one. Create new macro. And this one will be for the skills. Now, there are two skills that I use that are like buffs. So I want those to be up all the time. Uh, I just want to click once and run the game. As long as the game is running, I want those to be always on. So this one will be called auto cast. D3. Hit enter. Again, I just want to click it once and forget about it. So I want to choose the toggle option. And uh, the way I have them set up on the skill bar, and I'll show you the Diablo 3 uh, game in a little bit, is like so. So I'm going to click on start. I have the skill number one. I click on the number one on the keyboard and then you click on number four and then stop recording again we can change uh, what happens in between the two so this one will click up and down in 83 milliseconds it will wait four and a half seconds it will cl click number four uh, I want them to click simultaneously so let's say that's 50 milliseconds and I'm also going to add a delay so it will repeat every so often uh, let's say I want the 
I want this whole sequence of actions, clicking number one and number four, to be repeated every, say, two seconds. That's 2000 milliseconds. Okay. Click Save. So now I have my macros. All I need to do is choose which keys on the mouse I want these to go to. So I want my skills 1 and 4 to go on one of these. I want my force move to go on a different one. The left click will be my main action. Right, uh, right click will be the secondary. And then uh, I'm not going to choose this one. So I still have mouse up, mouse wheel up, and mouse wheel down, which is this one click. So the obvious ones that I will do is these two. And all you have to do is hold, click and hold and then drag to the button that you want. So this, this will be a mouse button 4, I believe. And this one is the auto cast. And then mouse button 5 will be the force move. So now, while in game, every time I click on this button, it will force move or auto move. And then this will cast one and four skills. And that's it. We're, we're done with the macro. So now let's go to the game and see what we have. So in game, you want to go and choose key bindings. Because now if I click mouse four or mouse five, nothing happens. Uh, remember, I chose to autocast this one and this one. So these, these are set. And I need the force move. So I'll go to options and then key bindings. And then let's go to force move first. It's space. But because I have my macro to mouse 5, every time I click mouse 5, the game will think that I'm clicking on space. So this one is set up. And then action bar the skills numpad one that I chose and four remember I chose in the macros one and four exactly like they are here so that every time I click on the a mouse button four it will do these two simultaneously and then for skill actions two and four I will choose mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. Now by default these will be not set to anything. So you click on something and then you uh, click on the button that you want uh, and then this one mouse wheel down, click apply, accept, return to game. Now let's see what we have. If I click mouse button 5 it's force move. You see this? It's click 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 and if I click again, it stops. If I click on mouse button 4, that it's doing these two. And then you see it blinks. So every two seconds that we set up, it's, it clicks on both of these every two seconds. Okay? It is not ready and yet. you're set up. And then your mouse wheel up will do action 2. Mouse wheel down will do skill number four and then of course left click and right click will do the other option so that's really all you have to do you have all your skills set up only to the mouse uh, now why would you want force move instead of you know left click well the, the reason is it frees up the uh, the mouse cursor so you can hover on things instead of just you know, uh, clicking, clicking, clicking. So if you if you are not using force move, every time you want to go to yet. this, it will activate. Uh, and especially in greater rifts, if, if you don't want the pylon, if you don't want to click on the pylon at this second, I must and then you by ac by accident you click on it, uh, you know that's a problem. So this way, you know, no accidental moves. If I want something, I click on it, and then something happens, like so. Okay. Now, the problem with auto cast is this: if I want to portal out of town, 
what happens is it will keep canceling every time the skill is ready so let's say the bar is in the middle it is not ready yet. let's say we're going here and then I want to portal to town I can't see so what you do is you stop your auto cast and then stop your force move and then you portal to town it's it's as simple as that uh, no keyboard needed okay I hope this video was helpful uh, and have a great time